Kicking off is St. Thomas Aquinas. It'll be Nolan Beek to kick. And we are finally ready for football. Beek's kickoff will go into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback here for De La Salle. Now on for the extra point is Nolan Beek. Seven nothing, St. Thomas Aquinas. Up with a turnover early, and they capitalized right away. Nolan Beek, his second kickoff and his second touchback. Woo! To the back of the end zone. On for the field goal attempt is Nolan Beek. It'll be a 23-yard attempt. And Beek drills it. Nolan Beek on for the extra point. Beek on to kick off. Josh Jenkins, Anthony Williams back deep for De La Salle. And this is once again into the end zone for a touchback. And the kick by Beek is good. Nolan Beek to kick off once again. And flags are thrown. It's a short run up here by Beek. Still a good kick with a short run up. You can see the leg of Nolan Beek right there. A 40 yard attempt here for Nolan Beek. And Beek's kick is good. Nolan Beek has shown off a very strong leg here tonight. for St. Thomas Aquinas. And game one of two from here in Hoover, Alabama is underway. Rowe from a couple yards deep in the end zone and the touchback. Nolan Beek to kick it off and apparently the, the breeze that we do have, which is something we're very thankful for <laughs> with this heat here in Alabama. 
looked like they were going to hold it for him, but that won't be the case. And Beek will kick it away with Rowe back deep. Along with Jeremiah Gardner for Prattville, Alabama. And automatically a touchback when it goes into the end zone. It'll be first down. And that's why Damian Ayola, that's why teams are watching him. The next level, they're starting to see he's going the game. That's going to, what's going to sustain St. Thomas over the long haul this afternoon. Gardner back deep for Prattville. That's going to go way over the end zone for an automatic touchback. Well, calling there from St. Thomas, mixing it up. Nolan Beek for the point after for Aquinas. Here's the point after attempt from Nolan Beek. 